Surah 32, Al-Sajdah, Prostration In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Alif Lam Mim This book, beyond all doubt, was revealed by the Lord of the universe. Or do they say, He has fabricated it? Nay, it is the truth from your Lord, so that you may warn a people to whom no warner came before you. Perhaps they will be guided to the right way. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and all that is between the two in six days, and then He established Himself on the throne. You have no guardian or intercessor other than He. Will you then not take heed? He governs from the heaven to the earth, and then the record of His governance goes up to Him in a day whose measure is a thousand years in your reckoning. He knows all that is beyond as well as all that is within a creature's sense perception. He is the most mighty, the most compassionate. He who excelled in the creation of all that He created, He originated the creation of man from clay, then made His progeny from the extract of a mean fluid, then He duly proportioned Him and breathed into Him of His Spirit and bestowed upon you ears and eyes and hearts, and yet little thanks do you give. They say, Shall we be created afresh after we have become lost in the earth? Nay, the fact is that they deny that they will meet their Lord. Tell them, The angel of death, who has been charged with your souls, shall gather you, and then you shall be brought back to your Lord. Would that you could see the guilty standing before their Lord with their heads downcast, saying to him, Our Lord, we have now seen and heard, so send us back to the world that we might act righteously, for now we have come to have firm faith. They will be told, If we had so willed, we could have bestowed guidance on every person. But the word from me that I will fill hell with men and jinn altogether has been fulfilled. So taste the chastisement on account of you forgetting the encounter of this day. We too have forgotten you. Taste the eternal chastisement as a requital for your misdeeds. None believes in our signs except those who, when they are given good counsel through our verses, fall down prostrate and celebrate the praise of their Lord and do not wax proud. Their sides forsake their beds, and they call upon their Lord in fear and hope and expend in charity out of the sustenance we have granted them. No one knows what the delights of the eyes are kept hidden for them as a reward for their deeds. Would a true believer be like him who was an evildoer? Surely, they are not equal. As for those who believe and act righteously, theirs shall be gardens to dwell in a hospitality to reward them for their deeds. As for the evildoers, their refuge shall be the fire. Every time they want to escape from it, they shall be driven back and shall be told, Taste the chastisement of the fire which you used to reject as a lie. We shall certainly have them taste some chastisement in this world in addition to the greater chastisement of the hereafter. Perhaps they will retract from their transgression. And who is more unjust than he who is given good counsel through the signs of his Lord, and yet he turns away from them? Surely we will exact full retribution from such criminals. Verily, we bestowed the book upon Moses, so entertain no doubt if the Prophet Muhammad received the same. We had made that book a guidance for the children of Israel. And when they remained steadfast and firmly believed in our signs, we created among them leaders who guided people by our command. Surely, your Lord will judge among them on the day of resurrection concerning the matters about which the children of Israel used to differ. Did these historical events not make them realize that we destroyed many nations before them amidst whose dwellings they now move about? Surely, there are many signs in this. Are they unable to hear? Have they not seen that we drive water to the parched land, thereby bringing forth crops which they and their cattle eat? Are they unable to see? They say, If you are truthful, tell us, when will the judgment come? Tell them, If the unbelievers were to believe on the day of judgment, that will not avail them, for then they will be granted no respite. So leave them to themselves, and turn away from them, and wait. They too are waiting.